Hey guys, it's Kevin from LP24audio.com. Guess what? I got a little trick for you called, uh, I call it LFO crossfading. Don't know if you guys have figured this out yet, but you can crossfade between uh, two LFOs. Uh, I was pondering how you could do three or four LFO crossfades in one knob. Couldn't think of a way, but um, and I don't think there is a way, but you can crossfade say between LFO 3 and 4 or something like that with a secondary macro. So it's quite simple. Have a listen first though. So that's LFO shape 1. Here's LFO shape 2 which I'll crossfade into. So you can see there's a lot of uses for that. It's quite simple to do. What you do is you drag the LFO to the same destination. Uh, they're both going to the cutoff at the moment by different amounts. And then we go to our matrix. Here's the key. You say LFO1 goes to filter frequency and it's inverted uh, aux source, meaning what's the sidechain unit, as Massive would call it. It's a macro. So in other words, this will get there, but it's respondent only when macro 1 is on. Now that's inverted, so that means when it's down, you're actually you are hearing that one. And likewise, actually the second part of the equation is LFO2 has to go to the same spot. It's not inverted, but macro 1 also controls that. So here's the key relationship. One's inverted, one's not. So you're able to quickly crossfade. Watch the blue uh, markers here and you'll see. So, hope that's a good trick for you guys. I know there's tons of applications for it. Just thought I'd show you a quick demo of it. Thanks, and uh, don't forget to check out our site, lp24audio.com.